so some interesting primary results tonight. I saw that uh, Ashley Madison lost in North Carolina, and I supported him very strongly. You know, it started as a website for a wealthy, talented men like myself, where we could meet people and have uh, strong uh, relations outside of our strong Christian marriages. And the left and the woke, they took down that website. They, uh, Big Tech, they hacked Ashley Madison. But Ashley Madison came back strong and won a congressional seat uh, in Congress, which is where they have congressional seats. Not a lot of people know that, but I know it. And he lost to the woke mob tonight, which is a very scary mob. And they defeated him, but he... Uh, Mike Pence, my once great vice president, said he was willing to personally counsel uh, Madison uh, seat porn. He calls him seat porn. And he's going to offer him Christian guidance, he said. And I think that's very nice. You wouldn't see the left doing that. No, they wouldn't do that. And uh, in Pennsylvania, my governor guy, menstruation won. So we're very pro him. Uh, but... It, Interesting, the Democrats, who obviously are so weak, but this time I think they made, I'm going to say it, I can't believe I'm saying it, sort of a strong choice. They could have gone with Connor Lamb. Now, it used to be Mary had a little lamb, and then Mary went trans and became Connor Lamb, and the left said, oh, very electable, we need a trans am, right? And all of a sudden they opted for Tyson Fury, they, they voted for the boxer. Very tall, very strong, very scary looking guy, to be honest. And I think that was actually a smart choice. So the Democrats may have accidentally made a strong choice by picking Tyson Fury to run for Senate. Uh, but I'm not happy with North Carolina for rejecting Ashley Madison, who we're now going to wheel off a cliff.